Hi everybody, my name is Chris. I wanted to show you my upgrade to Terrence Kelman's Tyvek wallet. Uh, his YouTube video where I got the design is how to make a Tyvek wallet. And this is the first wallet that I made uh, based off of that design. You can see my cards in here. We've got three on that side. Probably four or so cards on that side. I've got a bunch of cards on the inside here. Um, in, the, in this little flap, um, the main flap here uh, for bills, and uh, the design on the back that I just hand drew, and, and I've been using this one for a couple months now, and um, it's starting to wear a little bit thin. But again, this is an office envelope, um, kind of a thinner quality. A uh, little plug here for 180movie.com. I uh, really like it, so I thought, why not put it on a wallet? And every time I'm at a store, someone asks, "What's about? What's that all about?" And I can tell them about it. Anyways, that's my Tyvek wallet full. Um, I like it. It's it's a lot thinner than my old wallet. I would say it's right now about half an inch. You can see that a half an inch thick uh, full. Uh, don't have a lot of money in it, but the cards that I use on a regular basis, I, I did take out some of my other cards that I don't use on a regular basis. So anyways, this is the, the wall that I just made again based off of Terrence Kalman's uh, design uh, with a little bit of an upgrade. I noticed on the Mighty Wallet, rather than a round circle, they have this, this tapered design with where it's smaller at the bottom. This is the bottom. This is the top here. So it's a little narrower at the bottom, and it flares out at the top. And what I noticed is that, um, here's my Costco card here, that the cards don't slip out as easy. So I think that's probably why there's a bit of a lip there at the bottom, uh, so the cards aren't going to slip out as easy. There's a piece at the top here that connects it, where if you notice on my old one, it's open here at the top. So I, and I found that a little bit awkward. One thing I didn't like about this is my cards were really sloppy. Uh, I never had a, one fall all the way out because usually it's into the bottom there, into the fold itself. They would fall into the fold. So that was usually okay, but I wanted to improve on it a little bit. So if you can see in there, there's the folds from the original design. Uh, and I didn't really change much except for rather than the complete round circle here. I stayed in about a quarter of an inch at the bottom and about three-eighths of an inch at the top and I just did a little tapered design, made a little cardboard piece here off a cereal box, traced it and just uh, kind of freehanded it. The other thing is, is before I did the final fold here on the top, um, this is the one I just did a test, rather than cutting out this on the bottom of the envelope all the way through, I only cut on the front side of the envelope. So you can see here I cut this side but not both. Um, so on the back side of the envelope I would have left that full. So there's you've got two layers in behind there. It's a small, you'll, you'll see that when you, when you do the fold over. Um, so when you're doing the final fold of the flap and you're folding it in here, um, I left this piece rather than cutting it out right here. So there's just a little bit more envelope there. It went right to where it originally was on that original fold. So when I did that, when I when I do this fold in here, there's actually just that original piece of on the bottom of the envelope here. It just gives it a little bit more because I found that's where my wallet was wearing was right in the corners because it's in my back pocket and it's folding a little bit. Uh, so I just thought if it had one more layer there, it might not be um, so thin. So anyways, that's the one design. Um, the next one I'm going to try is where these folds are uh, on the inside where you fold these little flaps and use the two-sided tape. I'm actually going to I'm going to come back down from the fold about that same distance as here uh, at the top of the card holder, about three eighths of an inch. I'm going to do the same there. So it'll go across on the on the outside and on the inside, and I think that'll stiffen that up a lot, a lot nicer there. Um, but this is for a friend, so uh, this will be. His wife asked me to make this, 
and uh, so that'll be for him from her. Anyways, thanks for watching.